Hi and welcome to Law Seeker. My name is Amish Agarwal. Today I want to talk about the core fundamental aspect of advocacy and what separates a lawyer from an advocate. Of course the technical definition is a lawyer is any person who has a degree in law. An advocate on the other hand is a lawyer who who has the degree but who has also enrolled himself with the state bar council with the sole intention to practice his profession of going to courts of law and addressing arguments representing other people before a court of law a very practical thing that a practical example that comes to my memory is this one occasion where a lawyer a qualified lawyer who used to practice corporate law sitting in england came back to india for some litigation back home a couple of civil litigation a couple of criminal uh, uh, cases sprinkled in here and there and one of these cases reached the supreme court now when he engaged me to appear for him he also wished to be there present be present there and of course because he was enrolled he was able to put the band and he was able to stand with me and he wanted to address arguments as well now i went ahead and addressed my arguments the way i usually do before a judge be it the district court be it the high court or be it the supreme court there is a certain aspect to advocacy which has to be maintained otherwise the you might not be doing anything illegal as such but just by your mere conduct before the court the court will be inclined to not hear you out and at the end of the day when it comes to any sort of matters before a judge a court has almost complete discretion and even if a court does not have discretion the court always has the power to dismiss your uh, issue by just postponing the matter by adjourning the matter or by saying uh, you know something or the other so you always have to be in good books of the judge no matter what now in this particular case what happened was i addressed arguments the way i have been doing it for the past several years the way i have imbibed it from other people whereas this particular lawyer of course he the the other aspect was that he was emotionally involved with his own case which is another good lesson for lawyers when they say that you should not fight your own cases there is some wisdom in that if you take it personally the judge does not take kindly to it now when i address my arguments the judges were kind enough to uh, engage with me to hear me out and now at the end of it they said that they are not going going to grant me the relief that i was seeking from the court now this gentleman because he was emotionally involved in the case and also because of the fact that he felt that i was not able to put my point strongly across to the judges went ahead and started making his own submissions at which the court just got more and more upset in fact i took four steps back when i saw the person being extremely confrontational and what i saw going on after that was a complete absurdity the man kept addressing arguments the judges said next matter the the court master put up the next files the the guy kept pending like kept pushing and ultimately i had to drag him back and tell him that there is nothing more that can be done because if i would not have stopped him he would have been pulled up in contempt of court for sure that is the difference between a lawyer and an advocate i am not saying that advocacy is a craft to be learned only by standing in court and learning it but there are certain things that a person who maybe who does not go to court regularly as an advocate if he is a lawyer if he has a law degree or if he is representing himself as a party in person you should always err on the side of caution be as respectful as possible senior advocates advocates with a high number of years of standing at the bar they get away by saying a lot of things the judges also have a certain amount of camaraderie with them this is something which is not talked about by anybody but the judges also have a certain amount of camaraderie with them because of which these senior lawyers are able to get away by saying a lot of other things which anybody else for that matter would not get away with contempt of court is there Dam uh, cost can be imposed upon the lawyer or the party these are all things you need to be careful about and of course going to court a couple of times before you go to address your own matter when you sit in the court you observe what is going on 
before your matter comes up is extremely helpful. In fact, that is how I would say I have learned most of the code craft that I would know of. Just be careful. Do not mess it up. Codes of law are there for you, for your benefit, but only when you proceed with a little caution.